As you advance in your career as a traveler, you can certainly benefit from advice from your very own personal mentor whenever and wherever needed. Think about it. As a traveler, you encounter so many issues. How to deal with difficult clients. How to manage client expectations. How to deal with billing issues. And that's just the start of it. In your email exchanges with clients, how do you assure that you don't inadvertently waive the attorney-client privilege? Which of your communications with expert witnesses are discoverable? In drafting a complaint, what should you be sure to allege and what should you leave out? In motion practice, what motion should you file and what sequence to avoid waiving rights? How do you draft convincing memos supporting those motions? On appeal, what issues should you raise? In oral argument, how do you accomplish something far more persuasive than just trying to regurgitate what's in your brief? In drafting interrogatories, how do you get the information you can use? In drafting document requests, how do you get the documents that really make a difference in a case? What about all the ESI issues? What about the litigation hold requirements? How do you comply with those? If you fail to do that, your client could be sanctioned. So could you. In taking depositions, how do you make the most of the funnel method and get admissions you can use in so many different ways? And what do you do when a deponent who's being evasive testifies, I don't know, I don't remember, there are ways to get to the truth. In negotiations, should you make the first offer? And if so, what should it be? And how do you enlarge the pie during a negotiation rather than engaging in the zero-sum dead-end game? In mediation, what are the various ways that you can break through impasse? There are at least half a dozen. In arbitration, what do you need to know about every prospective arbitrator you're considering that you won't find in any CV? At trial, how do you make the most of the psychological principles of primacy and recency? And how do you avert disaster when opposing counsel seeks to put in a document you've never seen? Or the judge sustains an objection to testimony key to your case? Or your own client, after all your preparation, on the stand, gives bad answers to key questions? And in a jury trial, how do you deliver a very convincing opening statement and closing argument with no notes, but with great confidence? How do you market your practice? What's your niche? How do you deal with all the stresses of your chosen profession? How do you create and maintain a healthy balance between all of your roles in your professional life and everything in your personal life? Well, it's obvious you could benefit from this personal mentor available on demand. And here it is, How to Succeed as a Trial Lawyer, second edition. The ABA published it in January 2017. I'm the author, Stuart Edelstein. After 40 years as a trial lawyer, during which I taught clinical courses at Yale Law School for 20 years, I distilled everything I learned along the way and everything I taught into this one volume. I give advice on all these issues and so many more, but don't take my word for it. Go to shopaba.org, look for How to Succeed as a Trial Lawyer, second edition. Go to the table of contents and see for yourself just how comprehensive this book is. I thank you for watching this video and wish you the best in your career.